Yeah, you know, you mentioned referrals. I mean, I cannot, and I've I've had many, many, uh, I lost count, new private lenders, potential private lenders referred mm -hmm. to me from current private lenders. I can't think of one that I talked to that did not end up doing business with me that came referred to us, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, from an existed, existing private lender. One last question, and then I believe you got a free gift for the sure. audience to give away to, uh, to help them, um, to help them in their business. And um, so this is sort of hitting you from uh, left field. I, 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 you and I didn't prep any of this, but you've been doing it so long. I know you're going to have something come to mind. What would you say uh, was your biggest or one of your biggest mistakes that you made in the past in this world of private money and private lending and working with investors that if you knew then what you knew now, you would do it different. Um, two things really. Number one is always make sure the person investing with you is suitable and really make sure that the investment amount they're giving to you is suitable for them and their set of circumstances. The second thing, which was a real hard lesson, is sometimes it makes sense to take less than you're offered because big time investors will actually test you. And what I mean from that, Jay, and this actually happened to me is I was working with a investor a number of years ago and I called them back on that third call. And after I went through the deal and I presented the opportunity, I said, Jay, how many units in the program would you like to take today? You want three units, two units, one unit or none? And they came back to me and they said, well, um, really what I'd like to ask you, Brad, is I've got a million dollars. Can I give you a million dollars? Now, most people would have jumped out of their seat <laughs> in euphoria saying, absolutely. And that's what I did once before. And the money never came in. So what I learned to do when somebody wants to offer me a substantial amount of money is step back and say, you know, I don't know that I have that much remaining on the current program. Let me put you on hold and check with my investor relations team to see what I can do. And I put them on hold and I do my little happy dance. And after about 20 seconds, I come back and I say something like, Jay, you know, right now, unfortunately, I can't take all of it because we don't have that much. I can take 600 today and then I can get back to you on the next deal and you can place the balance with us in a couple of weeks. Does that sound good? And the reason I've learned to do that over many years, raising tens of millions of dollars is sometimes big time investors will test you. And that's the best advice I think I can give is take less to earn trust, build that relationship. And in the long run, you'll get a whole lot more. Wow. That's amazing. 